Hello everybody, I'm Serdom, and we're going to play some more Massive Chalice. I'm excited to pick my right back up where we left. Um, left off. Not too much to say other than let's just click the clock and hopefully we'll get attacked soon. I mean, that sounds funny. Still lamenting the loss of our territory over here. But these things happen. She was with us for a while. It was, uh, she got a good run. We're attempting to pick this uh, level 8 person. How much are you going to give me? 186 a year. You'll give the Oblivious trait, which is not that fantastic, to be honest. Or I should say personality. Uh, you'll give 150, and you will give Alert. Alert's not bad. you give Tranquil and Pack Hunter. Those are both pretty good. Uh, I'll be missing out on about 30 experience a year. 30 times 15 is some number, about 100, 450 or so difference. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. 450 is what they get, as opposed to 30 times 30 is about 30 times 15. So about, yeah, 450. Was I right the first time? Anyways, there's going to be some amount of experience difference. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think putting this person in uh, just to get the Tranquil and Prack Hunter is probably going to be worth it on their own. They're 17, they're part of the gang, but I think it will be fine, regardless. Maybe that decision wasn't really well thought out, but I'm, I'm happy with it nonetheless. I want to start getting people with good traits, and that should get a lot of people good traits, I would think. Sounds like Babies everywhere. Might have been killed by their own experiments. If I was a sage right, that's how I'd go. If only, lady, if only you would die. I'm confused because she talks about being a caberjack, but at the same time, she's the cup. I don't know. Perhaps I wasn't paying enough attention when this all started, but I'm confused about that. Really confused. You're 64. Go for it. What else are you going to do before you die? Nothing. You're going to die otherwise. No one's even going to know. At least now somebody will care. It'll be me. I'll be annoyed by it, but at least I'll know. If there's something to that, I suppose. My god. Okay. So who else do we have? 36? Let's be honest. I'm not going to do anything with you either. There's a chance you could be regen if somebody dies soon, but... We have two years and we'll have another sage, right? Which is going to make it even harder to like, keep those people alive. However, the boost in technology will be fantastic. Let's see. Let's pick some older people. Sure. I'm not going to send you out to fight. At least I shouldn't be. I'd be in a tough spot if I did. There's plenty of you guys running around the other way, so... Um... I think I'll be fine too. Let's do that. So an extra 40%, really. That's a pretty healthy amount. I don't feel like that's really lowered this. I feel like it was about 11 years anyways. It's um, not exactly what I wanted to see in life. Um, we'll do the experiment scarf. I think that's what I really need to start getting on now. Did I? I assigned you something. Chill. Chill out there. It's All right, it's time. time again. It is that time again. So this is going to be our first uh, issue here. 25% reduction in current research time. This this option, this bonus, only ever comes when I don't have much time. I swear. it. What is yours? A 20-year-old male alchemist, assuming he's not complete garbage. That'd be kind of nice. In other words, 25% of... It's basically just a year. I'll take this guy. If he's got some good personality traits or something, he might be worth uh, breeding in somewhere. Put him in the line. Alright, let's add a hero. It seems prudent. You're 40. That's a bit old for me. A bunch of Shadow Jacks. Um, let's take you. You're 50. Ripe for war. It's also the wrong person. There we go. We'll give you the Bone Barb because the other Bone Barb guy is probably not going to be sticking around with us. I have a feeling he's too old. You, say Handler, Veil Armor, Bone Barb, Perfect. 33, uh, you know what, 28's not really that bad, actually. I'll keep somebody under the age of 30. We need to find a good um, cutoff point, I think that'll be it. You need points, I need to sign, actually. Let's do that, we can do this, we can do that, and I did not mean to choose that, I somehow double clicked it, but that's... It's fine, I suppose. 37, you are a bit too old. You have that sweet, sweet weapon, though. 
just need some more experience. All right, you get to say just because of your weapon. I hope you feel good about yourself. Blackballing me into choosing you. Dimwitted and fertile and slow. You don't seem to offer a lot. Slow, quick study. And then there's this gentleman who is a hawk-eyed, strong-wheeled, bountiful, and a flincher, which doesn't sound great, but it'll, it'll do. I'm gonna give you the fancy armor. I'll give you the health file. That all seems reasonable. No, come back here. Stealth move. Hopefully, you won't be too stuck. I'm quite interested to see which one of those might actually better, be better. An AOE is kind of cool, uh, but most of the things I feel like blow up and spew acid or knock you around when they die. And that's a big part of the reason why I don't like them. Alright, let's get out there. Oh, um, sorry. I, I take a look at my phone for one second, and apparently I was waiting on me. I apologize. Send someone ahead to scout enemy positions, and then we should Blah blah blah. We found them. What? Oh, sorry. Old habits. Let's see. We should be able to get a couple good shots on these people. Did I bring? Yep, there you are. I was gonna say, did I bring a flash snap person? And can I get a good flash shot off on somebody? Well, there's only one good way to find out, isn't there? You were too far away. Oh, I thought they were like kind of closer to each other. All right, fair enough. Let's just uh, do that then, I suppose. Focus on these people first, just because I don't like them. I think that guy's a little bit too far away to be a real concern anyways. You got the bone barb in your front. That is quite excellent. Alright, put him up. Look at that. Freaking damage. Take that. Okay, you leveled up. Please don't miss. Thank you. 36, my god. You don't like to move too far. I don't care for that. Alright, that pot is dealt with nice and quick. Can I stealth out there? I was gonna say, we can see him, but you can't see us, that's fine. So you just go over there and like instantly sneak attack that guy. Maybe we should wait another turn. There's a, thankfully a lot of trees here we can use. Ah, you dirty dong, I hit the wrong button. I hit number two, which is the uh, quick assign for stealthing. It just didn't care. It didn't do it anyways. That's a, that's a giant shame, really. However, you can see him from there, so maybe we can kill him first. I probably should have paid more attention to that as well. Actually, a blinding shot might not be a bad move. Let's do that. We'll blind him, so hopefully when he runs up to that guy, it won't make a terrible difference. And we'll get you a little bit closer. See, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be in the front when the action happens. Speaking of action, let's see what happens here. Mm. See, he ran for it anyways, huh? That's alright. That's the worst that happens to us in Soviet. Right, let's get you some justice here. Sneak attack on... Um, this guy sounds just fine. I don't want to go too far with him. And bam! I like that they can stealth. I just wish they could wear the stealth armor. That's what I want from life. Uh, nope, go back to him. Luckily we do just a crap ton of damage to him. What can you shoot? You can shoot your friend. Let's not do that. Seems like a poor decision. Just you know, speculating that it wouldn't be the best thing to do. We'll have somebody back here cleaning this up. We'll just keep on trucking from there. So far we're working through this pretty quickly. Normally I'm still trying to read something out loud at this point in the video. We're already like 
pushing pretty fast through this fight. Alright. Alright. Stealth up there. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. I think normally that's where we spawn in this map. I think we've just got a new spawn location is all that's really happening here. Okay, so we got a guy there. This guy shouldn't be too hard to put down. 40 health is a fair amount, but I mean, we can always do a follow up or something if need be. Alright, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six enemies that we know have left. I'm gonna shift to this way, I think, and just try to focus on this pod and then move around the giant rock to kill whoever might be over there. I assume it's more than just two people. And that's three people. Because he's new. So there's an enemy spotted, we know their name. Alright, how do we necessarily want to go about this? Do I just want to. S yeah, you can't reach it anyways. Never mind on that. Let's just get up here. Let's just move over here and just try to get everyone as close as possible for when it's time. Because it's going to be time super soon. Super, super soon. As much as I want to kick this off right now, and I... Boy, do I. I think it would just leave people getting attacked when everything's said and done. All right, and me do your worst run around. Pack hunter. Yeah, I group up. That'll teach me. Jump in a giant pile in a big straight line, and then you'll show me. Oh, look at this guy. I guess we have to pull our attention more that way then. Okay, Mr. Bone Barb. Hopefully we can shoot all three with you. That would be what I really, really want. Uh, not quite, but close. You don't need to do your follow-up. I mean, if some of them survive and somebody gets hit, I'm, I'm not going to be super upset about it. I'm going to be super happy, but I'm not going to be super upset. I just want to make sure some of these people die first. Let's get you... here. Trying to think of who I really want to have die first. Uh, if you don't kill him, I'll be pretty upset with you about that. No one is going to do enough damage to one-shot him, huh? Even with your uh, stealth attack, I'm willing to bet. Your sneak attack actually might do it. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, I didn't think it would roll that high, but that's okay. We'll still murder him. He's on my list of priority targets. So are these guys because they will take experience away. And I think it's going to be what we use our last attacks for. These two seeds we're going to have just... They're just going to have to pull through this time. Let's focus you on him. Good job. Let's move you a little bit closer. If anything, hopefully block for him. And we'll murder this guy back here, so he doesn't steal any experience from anybody. It was a little late on the shell defense, but she still only took one damage. Good job. Would you look at that? That just happened. You only took one damage, which is pretty awesome. Okay then. Why don't we invest heavily in killing you? You're not gonna accidentally shoot anybody else, right? Actually, you know what we can probably really do is put you here. And take out both of them. And not your friend. Vengeance is ours! So does every two. Alright, and we should be running low on enemies at this point. You're first that's behind, so we'll move you first. Just got that guy back there. Fortunately, we can't do like a sneak attack on him. Which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Because that's usually... That's the only way I think you do enough damage to kill the thing anyways. Suck it. Suck it and die. Okay. 
can we just straight knock you back into a wall? How do I rotate this thing? Uh, is it Q? Nope. I believe there's a way to rotate where you're standing from like you can in XCOM, but God help me if I know where that is. Yeah, you're not going to do enough. And I don't think that's going to count as, like, quote-unquote, stunning him into a wall, but we'll try it anyways. Oh, I could just straight up miss, too. It's glancing. That was not a stun, despite the fact he didn't move because he got knocked into a wall, which normally stuns people. Nope, screw him. He's fine. That's right. Do your worst. Good stuff. And you can... God, you can't kill him. See, if you're not doing your stealth attack, it's just, there's no point. All right, shoot him. Shoot him dead. And that's it, let's get out of here. Indeed, that was it. Wow, okay, it was okay. short and sweet. You and your heroes did so well here. I'll try and make sure their ride home is more pleasant and less vomit inducing. I don't care what you do. I, I don't care if they vomit in the cup, that's your problem. So unfortunately the keep took a little bit. Got a level 4 mil alchemist. Let's uh, take a quick peek at him. No more than the episode there. Level 4. Somebody new. He's supposed to be 20. Here he is. Ale Spew. That's actually a pretty awesome name. Rance Ale Spew, he is nearsighted and fertile. That is unfortunate for him. Everything else is kind of... Kind of unimportant. Oh well, I would really like to... Do something with him, but oh well. If these things happen, it's just a bad rule, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. If you want to support me, leaving a like on this channel is... Or this video is a great way to do it. And if you want to see what happens next in this series, don't forget to subscribe. Regardless, I hope everyone had a good time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.